I've been asking for this, praying for this, and it might finally be happening. <laughs> Gran Turismo is going to be potentially, potentially, coming to PC along with all of other PlayStation's games. Um, the circle comes courtesy of Kotaku, a PC version of Gran Turismo is under consideration. Now, as you know, if you know me, if you know me, if you've been hanging around here for a while, you'll know I used to do a lot of Gran Turismo 7 streams when the game first launched. I love that game to pieces. I even bought a Logitech G29 just to play Gran Turismo on. Um, it's such a good balance between racing sim and arcade. It's just the best the best game ever for racing now, to me some people might disagree that's okay but yeah they're potentially going to be bringing it to pc let's get into what they've got to say i'm blaze 2k if you love gaming you love tech you love the steam deck you love everything tech and pop culture related i think i think you'll find a good home here and you'll enjoy watching some of the videos that we post anyways let's get into it like subscribe click the bell icon for more So guys, this comes courtesy of Polygon.com, a PC version of Gran Turismo is under consideration. Of course, we are looking into it as creator. So if you know anything about um, PC gaming, you'll know that Sony over the past couple of years has slowly started releasing some of what used to be PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 exclusives to the PC. Now, a lot of people in the PlayStation community, a lot of immature people are like, that's not fair. I'm a you know, I'm, I'm, I pay for play. I buy a PlayStation to play PlayStation exclusives. Why are other people getting to play PlayStation exclusives and not needing to buy a PS5? Why are you so selfish? <laughs> Who cares if PlayStation releases that an exclusive game a year later on PC? How does that hurt you, dude? How does it hurt you? PC players are paying as paying as much money for the games as you are a year after you got it. Um, and chances are PC players paid a crap ton more than what it costs to play on the PS5, right? PS5 costs, what, 500 bucks? 400 to 500? PCs cost upwards of like 1,000 to 3,000. I paid a lot of money for mine. So, come on. Come on, PlayStation fans. Don't be sorry. Come on. So, uh, we've got God of War that came out on Steam just recently. Obviously, God of War Ragnarok got released on PS5. And hopefully, it gets released on PC down the line months from now probably more than likely um we've obviously got spider-man spider-man miles morales just got released on pc um just a lot of big playstation games i've been wanting to play not on playstation though are finally coming to steam and one of them is now hopefully gran turismo they're looking at bringing it over so gran turismo polyphony digital is considering bringing the story racing series to pc its creator has revealed when asked by gt planet if he would consider a pc version of gran turismo 7 series creator and polyphony head kazunori yamauchi said yes i do think so but he cautioned that bringing a series known for its technical performance to an open platform like pc was not straightforward gran turismo is very finely tuned title he about to said there are not many platforms which could run the game in 4k at 60 natively so one way we can make that possible is to narrow down the platform it's not a very easy subject but of course we're looking into it and considering it so that's great news as gt Planet points out however grand Turismo 7 is already scalable to some degree as it runs both on playstation 4 and playstation 5 so let's be real if it runs on playstation 4 surely surely it can't be that hard to run it on something like the steam deck portably right i would look oh my god dude. if if this happens gran turismo 7 might be my most played game on steam deck <laughs> i don't need to run it at 4k on the steam deck at 60 all right 800p steam deck's native resolution at 60 fps if they can somehow make that work even like giving us a a, a a plethora of graphic options to tune it down and get 60 60 fps at 800p i will be in absolute racing heaven it might be my most played game on steam deck at that point <laughs> playing in bed playing racing games online on the steam deck how amazing would that be so um so yeah, there could be there could well be pressuring Yamauchi from Sony to make it happen. No Gran Turismo game has been playable on anything other than a PlayStation on PlayStation hardware before. But in the past couple of years, Sony Interactive Entertainment has been bringing a string of its biggest exclusives to PC with some success. Horizon, God of War, Spider Man, and Uncharted have all made the jump. The jump, and I believe there's a few more in there too. I think um, Last of Us is coming to PC as well, and Days Gone. I think that's the name of it. Is also came to PC. Um, oh, and also Death Stranding. Death Stranding 
came to PC also. Uh, Grand Turismo 7 was met with some controversy over its release as players reacted to miserably slow play, a slow-paced economy that seemed to push them towards exorbitantly priced in-game purchases. Yamauchi eventually relented and patched the game to make it more generous, but the, but the debate marred the release of what was otherwise an excellent racing game. Um, so there we go. Grand, if Gran Turismo 7 does come to PC, it will be it will find an enthusiastic racing community on the platform and set up a head-to-head -head clash with Microsoft rival Forza Motorsport, which returns to Xbox as well as PC in spring 2023 with the new mainline Forza Forza game um, after a five and a half year hiatus. So there we go, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited about Gran Turismo making the jump to PC? Don't be salty, Sony fans, all right? Us PC players want to enjoy games too. I own a PS5 as well, but I want to be able to play game PlayStation games on the go with my good old little portable gaming PC here, the Steam Deck, and obviously maybe crank the graphics up to max and play it on my gaming PC as well. It'd be kind of cool. And I'm hoping to get a little gaming racing rig for Christmas, so I'm going to be doing a lot more racing games and racing streams on this YouTube channel and on Twitch over at place 2 k Gaming. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon if you love tech, gaming, Steam Deck, all the stuff. Please subscribe. Anyways, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.